Hi, I'm Bill Baracek. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer for Color Street. I wish we were all together in person because your enthusiasm and your passion is absolutely infectious. But I do want to thank you for all of your hard work. You pay our salaries and enable me to have the best job in the world. So I know you're dying to see the new shades for fall, but first I'd like to talk about nail color in general. I've been in the category for 25 years and there are some basic truths that remain the same over time. So basically, who is the nail color user? Well, there are two types of consumers that make up most of the sales in nail color. The first is called the nail enthusiast. Think about somebody like Katy Perry. She likes to express herself with different nail art, with different looks. She likes to express herself and be noticed, and she'll match nail colors to the occasion um, or her mood or whatever she's going to. In fact, I had the privilege of meeting her, and she said that she became involved with nails passionately after a trip to Japan, where people are very much into nails. See, she's very fashion forward. She's a trend setter. Then there's what we call the traditionalist. Think about somebody like Sofia Vergara. Do you think she ever goes out of the house without makeup on? No way. Are her nails always done? Absolutely. Is she wearing blue nail polish? No. So she's fashion right, but a little bit more conservative. She'll be more likely to be wearing Himalayan salt or Beijing beauty. So, but she's very involved and I wouldn't call her fashion forward. I would call her fashion right. So these are the two types of consumers that are looking at the different types of strips that we offer. So what are the most important benefits that a woman is looking for when she buys nail color? The number one reason, and this probably sounds obvious, is the color. So my mother was a traditionalist. I could give her free blue nail polish for the rest of her life. She would never wear it. So getting the shades right is why we spend so much time looking at the nails and looking at the sales and reevaluating the category all of the time. What are the next two things women are looking for? Number one, they want a manicure that lasts. Nothing is worse than going to a salon, getting a manicure, and then having a chip two days later. It's such a waste of time. And then finally, women are also looking for something that's easy to apply, right? Anybody who's done their nails with the non-dominant hand knows that the perfect application is not easy for all of us. So these are the three most important things people are looking for. And guess what? Color Street Strips do all of those things. So it's no surprise that our product has been so successful. As we delve deeper into what women are looking for, they are things like non-streaky coverage, no smudge application, and don't forget easy removal. Again, all things the Color Street strips provide. So let's talk about brands in the mass market. Why do we look at this? We look at this to find out which brands are biggest so we can look at the latest trends and the popular shades. So this chart, represents sales at CVS, Target, Rite Aid, and Walgreens. So the whole category is about $588 million. The number one brand is Sally Hansen, followed by Essie, OPI, Sinful, and Revlon. So for the year to date, starting January through June, I compared the sales of Color Street to Sally Hansen, and guess what? This is the really exciting news. You have the number one brand in the United States between January and June in dollar sales. So that's very exciting. Thank you for all your work. In 2019, salon sales were about $1.7 billion. It's a huge market. We're going to continue to grow Color Street. What's interesting is the artificial nail segment and color strip segment is up 30% while all the other categories are basically flat. So Color Street is definitely driving that segment of the business. Times have been tough during the pandemic and many salons have been closed. Color Street provides a benefit compared going to going to the salon, not only for the price, but for saving time. So the average manicure in the salon is $22 and it goes up from there. So our benefits are fantastic. Let's get on to branding news. In 2019, how to apply Color Street nail polish strips 
was the number one Googled question in the beauty category. The top 10 questions, no other brand was mentioned. It was, how do I get a good haircut or how do I apply something? So Color Street got huge press on that and was on InStyle, Vogue, Marie Claire, and picked up by tons of digital magazines. In fact, year to date, we've had over a billion impressions digitally. Color Street has become so popular that in 2018, we only had 32,000 followers on Instagram. As of June, we're up to 100,000 followers. Facebook, we had about 50,000 in 2018, and as of June, we're up to 150,000 Facebook likes. We garnered over 15 million impressions in magazines like Real Simple, Star, OK, and Marie Claire. Now, most editors place brands in their magazines that spend a lot of money on advertising. We don't spend a lot of money on advertising, so the fact that they do place in us in the magazines means that our product is really special and the editorial is all over it. In 2020, we won several awards, the Real Simple Real Beauty Awards and Hello Giggles the Beauty Crush Award. We also were named by Direct Selling News as the 38th largest MLM in the United States. We've also been on several TV shows and several news shows across the country reaching 4 million people. And in fact, highlights include The Wendy Williams Show and The Today Show with Hoda and Jenna. Moving on to the Stylist Lab. At last year's conference in August, five lucky stylists won the opportunity to give input on shades that reflect their personality or their inspiration. Now, because of the pandemic, it took us a little time to actually get the launch going, but I'm proud to announce the five winners. The winners are So now, moving on to the fun part. So let's get to fall, winter, 2021. You want this? Oh, me? Oh, 